Hello, Wildcat Nation. This is your boy Navi here. I want to welcome y'all back. Yes, back to the new season of Black Lightning. We are on season three, episode number one. The Book of Occupation, Birth of Blackbird. From where we last left off, we're getting into the Markovian War series with Friedland. So let's see where we're going to wind up and what happens from here. We come to find out that it's been 37 days since the capture of the green light kids that awakened from their pods. But we see their living arrangements and how they caged like animals. And see that not only is the Reverend checking on them, but also Anissa as well. But even though they're looking out for them, it doesn't mean that it changes anything with their status or situation. From my point of view, what I see is weird as during those 37 days, the Markovian War started. But instead of showing the war or the start of it, all they show is a metahuman by the name of Cyclotronic that breaks into their living quarters and tries to liberate the green light kids or experiments from Friedland to the Markovian side. Luckily, not only was Anissa there, but the government ASA agents working for Agent Odell. Unfortunately for Cyclotronic, he could not hold off against Commander Carson William, who he winds up getting into a fight with and inevitably breaks his neck by using his metahuman powers. And it now seems that we know the identity of Blackbird as Anissa heads to her apartment and changes into her alternate costume in which she goes on a covert mission to go ahead and liberate the children of the Greenlight Experiments from the ASA herself and deliver them to Reverend Jeremiah so that they can help and shelter them until the time is most convenient in order to help them escape Friedland. And it seems that due to the experimentations that the ASA has put upon Jefferson while incarcerated has given him more powers to develop as he sees that he's able to see through solid objects using a special kind of a vision and sees the young metahuman Issa below his feet in his room. So my question is, what kind of vision is it that he has? And we now take notice with more character development for Anissa as she begins a sexual relationship with a young female reporter by the name of Jamila Olsen who was not only seen interviewing Reverend Holt, but at the beginning of the episode as well, as she was the one who did the news report on the Greenlight children at the ASA facility. And as the episode progresses, we see that Jefferson's abilities now start to manifest more often as he's able to look through the floor and see that Tobias is in the same building that he's in as well, and unable to leave the pit. And even though this is a new season, it seems that some things never change as Jen goes out at the curfew using her abilities and training and burning off some of her excess energy. And fortunately for her, Anissa has a good sense to go ahead and drive around looking for her in order to pick her up so she won't get arrested and put into a metahuman detention center. It seems that we see Issa's true role and how it plays in the Markovian War as he's used to question Tobias well in order to get the full truth out of him and find out all his secrets. 
it seems that Agent Odell's true mission isn't what he says it is. After finding out the secret, he soon realizes that Agent Odell is going to kill him. But the question is how? After having a conversation with Agent Odell, he reveals to him that he's already killed him by poisoning his food. And even though Anissa is able to help liberate the many humans that were taken by the ASA, she's herself in critical condition after being blasted by a rocket. And it seems that the only person that's able to do anything using their powers correctly will be Jennifer at this moment. Unfortunately, she's unable to help because if she does, the Markovians can either take her or the ASA will probably find her and take her for themselves. So for right now, we play the City and Wait game. Well, it seems that Freedom is truly in the midst of a Markovian war due to the fact that they're trying to liberate all the metas for their side. But in this situation and with this season so far, after only one episode, you really have to ask yourself, who are the good guys and who are the bad guys? Even though they're working with Agent Odell, the Pierce family are conquered and divided at the moment. But I feel that once they come together, they can overtake any and everything that they need possible. Agent Odell, Markovian soldiers, and the entirety of the war in general. As for right now, I'm going to wait for the next episode of Black Lightning to come out. That way we can keep up together and see what goes along around Freeland. But what you all can do for me, Wisecrack Nation, is go ahead and hit that like button, leave a comment, share this video, or subscribe to our channel. If you're not already a subscriber. Oh, and please, please, check out my friends at the 450 Legion Gaming page. We're all trying to make a comeback and have some good content for you to watch and keep up with but for right now be wise crack heart and be good to each other everybody peace